Rosalka is a, is a fairy tale, essentially, and the librettist Crackle was uh, inspired by Anderson's The Little Mermaid and possibly La Motte Fouquet's Ondine. So he created this version, if you like, of The Little Mermaid. Everyone knows the story, but it's, of course, a very, very particular um, Czech spirit to it. It has so many different resonances for different people of different ages, and I think, and at different times in their lives, um, it's essentially a really very human piece about the, you know, it's about the human condition, about the power and the mystery of love. It's not located in any particular place. Very like all fairy tales in a way. You can't really locate them. There's a sort of universal location. So it's not specific historically or geographically. We try to make the story, the character, the situation as particular as possible rather than the setting. So it's more of a poetic response to the, to the story. Music is just surging in and out of the lake, the forest, people's hearts, people's souls. It's looking, searching. So Vorjak, it feels like he's keeping you searching with him, sort of groping for the answer somewhere. One of our challenges, of course, was to find a way of, of defying gravity because a lot of the action takes place underwater. We work with some uh, fantastic dancers who help us to play with gravity a bit. It's not that they're throwing bodies around, almost, but not quite, but because of the technique that they've developed through the choreographer Rick Nodine initially, um, they're able to um, play around with their distribution of weight and the characters weight in the space in relation to them as well. It is such a compelling story. It, it does, it does grip you, you know. And I know my own children have been to see it, you know, who aren't familiar with opera, they've become familiar, but I think it does appeal to people who've never uh, been to opera before. You would not believe that there is three hours of opera there when you watch it. It really does fly past because it's so dramatic and, and fantastic. I imagine from any age, 8 to 108 would be, would love it.